Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. In this session, we will be discussing about asymmetrical PCR. Do you know PCR can amplify single standard DNA also? This asymmetrical PCR is designed to preferentially amplify only one strand of DNA. There are various molecular downstream exclusive application of asymmetrical PCR such as in sequencing, hybridization, selection aptomer technology especially in the DNA aptomer selection, site directed mutagenesis also in allele discrimination and in the identification of various allele. This asymmetrical PCR is a modification of your traditional native PCR. In a convention PCR which is a thermocycle which we use to amplify DNA routinely in the lab of biotech, biopharma and R&D sector which consists of a crucial steps like denaturation, annealing, amplification, extension and termination. This conventional and traditional PCR is used to amplify the double standard DNA. But in the asymmetrical PCR, we amplify only a single standard template. So if you see the principle of asymmetrical PCR, during asymmetrical PCR what we do, we use excessive amount of single strand primer specific to the target specific strand. The ratios and the concentration could vary like you can use 10 times higher volume of the target specific primer. Sometimes the standardization of your asymmetrical PCR reaction will be required based on your template and the primers and depending on your experimental need. The way we need to standardize the PCR in the laboratory for different experiment, you need to standardize your template primer concentration, sometimes DNTP, magnesium concentration, enzyme concentration and so on depending on different experimental condition. Similarly, in the asymmetrical PCR also standardization will be required. The standardization parameter where you can work on are the annealing temperature, the concentration of the primer, the concentration of the temperature and the number of PCR cycles. There are few limitations associated with the asymmetrical PCR in terms of low amount of PCR yield. The efficacy is also lower if you compare with the conventional PCR and here we require higher number of PCR cycles. But based on exclusive application, these are still required in the molecular biology and biotech lab. So you just have to work on the standardization part. I myself has done asymmetrical PCR several times for my DNA aptomer selection project during my PhD. With time and with practice, you can also standardize these experiments. Just you have to work on the annealing temperature. You have to work on the different concentrations of primer, temperature and PCR number. You can also overcome the limitation of asymmetrical PCR by increasing the PCR cycle number and by using more starting material related to PCR. So once you are done with the standardization and amplification of asymmetrical PCR, you can check them on the gel electrophoresis and for various other applications, you can also purify your single standard DNA. You can use column based purification, bead based purification. You can elute it from the gels. You can also purify the PCR reaction by using the targeted enzymatic degradation of double standard DNA to obtain a single standard pure sample of asymmetrical PCR. You can use this single standard DNA for your various application in aptomer selection, hybridization, sequencing, etc. I hope you have liked the session and you are going to explore this area further for your molecular biology and biotech payments. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and do share these information among your scientific endeavors. Thank you.